What is happening guys, Fallen from OTB here, coming with yet another video of the next war uh, that is finishing up here very shortly. Uh, another beautiful war, I wasn't going to make a video, but uh, at the last minute decided here, uh, because people seem to be really rocking this, um, a lot of attacks lately. So, uh, also I was a little upset that the last video had some pretty poor sound quality, and we'll see if it's any better. It's just kind of a random, uh, either it works or it doesn't, so I'm sorry if it doesn't. Um, we're going to jump right into this, our new guy, currently our trial member, Don. Um, hitting base number one in this war, we see a pretty typical style setup base. Uh, not quite a ring, but still kind of has that nice little spread to it. Kind of the arrowhead base design that we see from years past. And what we have here is a nice leading um, blimp, uh, blimp bomb about to occur right on top of that town hall. Uh, oh, a little shy there on the very edge of that invis. We had to drop that second invis pretty quickly, uh, but no problem. He's able to take out those defenses very, very nicely in the area. And uh, keep in mind a base like this, uh, or a setup like this, uh, it's not necessary to use uh, an archer bomb. So you can still save uh, a lot of uh, spell space, troop space, and just kind of make use of a very simple uh, put together uh, blimp bomb with uh, super wizards. Um, starting on this side with the royal champ and just kind of getting some damage down on the area. Um, as you can tell, we do have the hybrid style going into it here. Now this is a hybrid that does not have a queen walk. So so what we're doing is we're sacrificing the, the queen walk and the healers into more, uh, more attacking troops. And we're using that blimp bomb to take away basically the portion that the, the queen would take away on the walk. I find queen walks to be a little too stressful, um, so I can't blame them here for kind of going this route. We're just kind of coming in the long side of the attack right here. Um, decent start for everything. Um, and again, there's a lot of offense, so as long as he's very smart about how he wants to handle those heal spells, which our first one's going to go up right there. Uh, nice spot for that first heal, and then the second one's always going to be on that back half, somewhere right around where that uh, Multi-Ferno and Scattershot will be shooting. Um, Warden ability perfectly goes off right about in the middle of the attack, once you get to kind of the, the juicy defenses, bigger, heavier, heavier buildings where maybe the troops get stuck a little bit easier. Uh, that second heal goes right on that edge once again to where we would be experiencing that Inferno fire, and things are just running this over. Guys, take a look at this attack this is something that i think is possibly uh could work in a lot of scenarios um so i would urge everyone to to view this um he's got the old poison spitter as well there and uh trips the bomb but really there, there's nothing here that is going to be too close about this there's a lot of troops up um very timely attack uh, again, all he did was he sacrificed the the lava into the blimp. So um, that's again that sometimes is a little tough to do on some bases, but in this case, that's a done deal. Fantastic attack on that style of base, and again to commit that many troops to it, I think is is a really smart idea. So I'm glad he did that. We're gonna go down to number eight. We're hitting all these guys. Um, anyone who's getting triples is just gonna continuously be on record. So here comes Tam once again with his all-knowing attack. Uh, the I'm just calling this the three-point attack um, as he has been really working this well. And uh, I, I, this is similar to his strategy before. But he found a way to change it and remodel it and turn it into his own once again. Um, now, I've seen pros use a uh, simple style of attacks like this. But the truth is, what is working is the Super Bowlers. And it doesn't matter necessarily how you're using them. It, it's They're being very effective because they're taking out multiple buildings at one time. And there's just no time in this update for TH15. There's too many buildings, too many heavy defenses. Uh, heroes are higher level. So you're, you're, it's really easy to lose troops quickly unless you're finding some sort of very efficient way uh, to take down defenses. And it, you really got to be creative on it. And really what we're talking about is, is an attack on multiple fronts. Um, and other things like distractions. And, I mean, like this game has changed significantly right now and it's turned to the point where people here like Tam 
um, require the uh, that ability to ha- to kind of multitask on each uh, attack. And there's so many parts together with that that it, it's it all depends on how how much you can multitask at one time and not you know um, not screw up. I mean it, it's really about uh, just multitasking, having your attack come together, having a plan for that town hall uh, because as you get into CWL and things like that, it gets a little bit scary. Um, you got to make sure and assure that two star that's going to happen. Um, and this attack, I, you know, is somewhat risky, but really not any more risky than most of the other attacks we see. So, um, again, he does go with the dragons in the clan castle that did sweep their way across the top of the base. Not much was done with them, um, except for just simple cleanup. Uh, but really, the, it's that uh, flame flinger that that's what's going to bring your value um, to, to the use of that. Finally uses the ability, clears out the last few defenses, and cleanup mode is here. That was awesome. Tam is doing it. He's back to doing it every war again. Damn it, Tam. Stop it. Um, is this... Uh, McConnell, once again, is he using the same strat? He sure is, everyone. Once again, we see a base that is... Uh, this base was used a few times in this war, so very typical base design. Um, starting off with that warden walk over there at 2, 3 o'clock. I'm going to head them upwards uh, into that Eagle Artillery compartment. And uh, he's, he starts out by making that space. Um, he uses the Yetis so they can also be able to pick off the outside defenses, uh, which is a smart thing to do. The Yetis are really nice, and especially nowadays with a little bit extra troop space, I think uh, Yetis really do get the job done. The rest of the deployment comes in here, so we are using the uh, Electric Titans. Um, as the tank aspect, and then also a little bit of distraction with those witches. So witches are also able to help deal with the clan castle just as easily as uh, electric titans are as well. And the key to his attack is right here, is using that blimp, um, he's able to blimp bomb the area right there, um, sacrificing just enough spells to, to just bomb the area. Uh, he's been very, very successful with this because, again, you get the drop with the use of the Warden uh, ability, which actually benefits all troops uh, that are getting going. And then as slow as this attack moves, those troops are staying away from this portion while these archers are bombing the area. Uh, they're staying away from from um, you know, extra harm that would happen if, if this were like a multi-part attack and you do your blimp bomb first, then you send in your troops. I think a lot of pros are doing that. Um, in this type of a scenario, he's just he's sending it all together. Um, so that's benefiting your whole amount of troops as well with um, with that blimp. Um, that And that's the hardest part is sacrificing a Lava Hound uh, is a decision to make to be able to save your Warden. And a lot of people nowadays are just sending their Warden specifically to maybe with some loons to be able to help and try and uh, get that blimp. Um, you know, use the ability so that blimp can get by. Because if your blimp bomb fails, y the attack will fail. So you have to commit so much to it. Um, I have been struggling with that lately too, trying to find uh, a purpose for, you know, how to successfully get that blimp in toward that town hall, um, using the least amount of resources possible to um, to waste troop space, spell space, you know, this and that to make that work. And he's into that last compartment, still has his abilities. So this, was, this wasn't this was just a, a little ordeal. This was an absolute smash. This attack is working, and we're seeing it every war. Do not stop doing this, um, and, and recognize what bases it's going to work on. That's going to be those bigger compartments where you can allow those uh, those troops and those E-Titans to, to kind of roam around. I'm going to go to number 10, Fresh. He's got his Super Bowlers, I'm sure. Super Bowl is once again coming in here. He's had a very straightforward attack, um, again, on a base that this is perfect for the Super Bowlers. Um, this is where those three bounces are going to come in so handy, and I think uh, I think there's just there's no better option. Going for a drink there. I think I'm getting a little sick. Uh, the whole family's sick, so I got to kind of water down. I'm feeling it in the throat right now, and... Um, the flu, it's flu season, folks, so, um, again, we're starting on a nice simple walk here, 
uh, with the Warden. We've got that scatter shot right down there, trying to keep him as healthy as possible. Um, finally, you know, it, it's the price of doing business when you have to deal with those uh, mortars. Uh, but that does go down, and really his goal is to, to try and take out that um, the kind of more left defenses there so we can get that scatter shot down. Uh, meanwhile, over here, we are pushing those troops to go central, right to the core of this base. Um, deal with that Eagle Artillery as soon as possible, and just kind of swiping away those defenses here. Um, you don't want uh, to lose your... Um, look at that, good. It's a nice snipe on that hero right there, too, because uh, you don't want to waste your, your golem. Uh, too early and once again we have a single target inferno so we do want to freeze that area also the cc is there um so this is actually really nice to be able to do um we kind of froze everything got that poison spell down that's brilliant um super bowlers only weakness is they can't attack any kind of air uh, so you do have to be mindful of uh, what you're using so everything goes into core here and keep in mind whoops okay uh keep in mind when you do um when you do decide to do this um, be be very aware of uh, of like on each side. Sometimes the the troops can't be able to reach, so you have to have a plan. Typically, that's where your RC comes in. Um, it is very dangerous around single target infernos, but here we are experiencing a perfect type of a scenario where things are just kind of going around the way it needs to. Uh, RC has a nice uh, phoenix there where where RC was able to pick off those last few defenses just with the help of that Phoenix. So keep in mind, whether you're using Diggy or the Phoenix, uh, Phoenix keeps them alive. Um, I can see a scenario working for either one. So I think that's uh, that's going to be very important. And lastly, the cleanup is here. And everything is be able to going to be able to get through there. And I see that Diggy was used for uh, for the Queen. So that's a, that's a really good idea and a great usage of Diggy there as well. Okay, perfect. So we are at the midpoint, and I will end this video here as I take this call shortly. It's Fallen from OTB signing off.